ponchos of the respective clubs, even though they share the credit and the work among all their staff. Mick Jelly over in the red corner, Mick Delaney in the blue, and how many champions have they produced over the years? Getting kids involved and guiding them to fulfill their potential. We're underway here in the 56 kilogram final. It's between boxers from Berry Boxing Club and Dale Youth. The boxer wearing red, the taller figure, is Ibrahim Nadim, 20 years of age. He was absolutely terrific during the course of his pre-quarter, quarter and semi-final victories last week. Three bike bouts in three days. And John O'Meara had the same hard road to this championship final. Three victories in three days for John O'Meara, including eliminating the tournament. Number two seed, Louis Southgate of St. Mary's at the semi-final stage. He's the boxer wearing blue, and this one promises to be a high quality affair indeed between two skillful boxers. Well, Nadim is the cousin of former GB boxer Mo, Mo Ali, and uh, he boxes very similar to Mo Ali in that he boxes at a, a fast, fast pace, high tempo, and um, I think that's what he's got to do here, Ronald. Almira is a skillful southpaw indeed, holding the centre of the ring, very well schooled, doesn't make a lot of mistakes, so I think Nadim here... He's got to revert to what he knows best, and that's work rate, that's his engine. He's got to step on the gas here. He demonstrated those qualities very well in the bouts we commentated on last weekend, didn't he, Richie? He was fast, he was sharp, he was long, and he maintained it over the course of the three threes. Three bouts in three days on each occasion, but his gas tank certainly wasn't found watching. Terrifically conditioned boxer, Steve O'Meara, just picked off by a jab as he went looking for that right hook. Excuse me, <laughs> not Steve, is it? It's John O'Meara, excuse me. Getting family members mixed up there, Ronald. <laughs> That's not going to go down well, is it? No. <laughs> Real boxing family, aren't they, O'Meara? The O'Meara's. Most certainly. So Nadim. Ronald just staying on the outside he's looking to land that right hand there look he's trying to he's trying to get O'Meara to commit and then go back with the right hand but again O'Meara this is a classic case of both boxers not really wanting to make mistakes here just trying to stay disciplined and that's a nice little attack there from O'Meara left hand to the body right hand over the top landed by O'Meara trying the same salvo once again the body shot got through the right hook was blocked effectively, but O'Meara came back with a left hand. He's touching the body nicely with straight shots, is O'Meara. Going between the high-held gloves, but the elbows are wide, being proffered by Nadim. Clever boxing here, Ronald, from O'Meara. If you watch the way he's going forward, he goes forward, but then he just pulls back. Just as you think he's about to throw a shot, he'll pull back because he's trying to draw the lead of Nadim, and then he'll go back with his counter. Clever boxing. Cuffing little left hand during the course of that cluster landed by Nadim. A very good opening round. Steve O'Meara with six. Excuse me, I've done it again. <laughs> John O'Meara with success downstairs. So it was a round, it was a, a, a game of a, a physical chess, this one, that both boxers don't really want to make the mistake. O'Meara boxing very well from the centre of the ring. I think we'll see a tempo change from Nadim in this second round. I don't think. He was boxing at his normal pace. He's trying to catch him with the right hand, probably waiting a little bit too long here and there. O'Meara, very well boxed there, just in and out with the feet, very well schooled. Finishing the reverse one, two there. So I expect Nadim to come out throwing more shots. I think he's got to revert back to that, that style that we've seen last week. Second down. So into the second round then. And just as you suggested, Richie Nadim out onto the front foot more briskly to begin this second round. But nice movement being employed. Right hand got through by Nadim. And looking to bring that greater reach that he possesses into play. Oh, beautiful counter right hand from Nadim, catching 
Omir as he made his way in, he landed with a shot of his own but was made to pay a price with that single right hand from Nadim. Yeah, a bit of quality there from Nadim. He drew the, the lead of Omira. He missed the target and then he caught him with a nice counter. So Nadim just demonstrating that he's got some a few tricks and some boxing skills up his own sleeve. But yeah, there's definitely a more there's a more urgent approach from both boxers, but you certainly I think from Nadim he started the round a lot quicker. Looking for that straight right hand once again. Nadim goes downstairs and scores with a good right hand to the body. Just made to miss after Omira was working on the inside. And the right hand again goes over the top after Omira employs good movement by dipping at his knees. Yeah, he got away with it actually there, Nadim. You can't afford to throw shots like that and miss the target. That's a nice look left hand there coming from that crouch position from Omira you've got to hit the target with the right hand against the southpaw a skillful southpaw like this he's going to come back and catch it there's a good straight left straight left to the body a few moments to go from Omira right hand is a nice shot from the Deem right hand lead and then he turned it into a hook catching the advancing Omira Omira bobbing and weaving in front of his man he goes for a southpaw left but it was long the left hand to the body was right on the money Nadim then burrowing away with punches to the body of Omira yeah a good contest this one I think it, it's showing that you've got to have several um, sets well uh, you've got to have different tactics up your sleeve and, and you've got to go you've got to try them haven't you and that's what both boxers are doing here Nadim being a little bit more uh, on that on the back foot if anything he's actually waiting for Omira to come forward and trying to catch him with that right hand so he's chopping and changing both boxes are Omira looking for the uppercut with Nadim on the ropes Nadim got through with a short range right hand and then another one as well but Omira comes back with a pile driving left cross that snaps Nadim's head back Nadim turns his man around and puts him on the neutral corner momentarily what an exchange with Nadim in the corner Action back at ring centre now. As the fainting continues, Nadim fainting with the feet. Reverse one two wasn't too far away from the boxer in red. That was a cracking round of boxing, it really was. Swayed this way, then that. I thought the eye catching stuff from Omira was certainly very positive indeed from his point of view this was at the start of the round that was that lovely well-timed right hand from Nadim showing that he can box on the outside make his opponents miss and then catch him as he's coming forward but towards the end of the round then Omira started to land with some good shots some eye-catching shots good straight left hand towards the end of the round keeps Nadim on the ropes here Nadim's feet a little bit too square and then he produces a nice left hand there from him. So a cracking round of boxing. Second down. Third and final round. So both boxers keen to re-enter the fray for this third and final round. They're both up off their stalls early showing the other man that they are ready to go beautiful lead right hand again from Nadim catching Omir on the outside so a classic case of, of triggering the opponents off triggering the attack and then catching him on the counter both boxers have been doing it and Nadim again now he's just waiting on the outside but at the same time he's got to do enough work the man coming forward is at the moment is Omira and he's having some success remember not a lot in it and it might come down to what the judge prefers Nadim studied sport at college wants to work as a personal trainer Omira works as a roofer with his dad he said it's fine when the sun's shining oh that's a good left hand landed from Omira but perhaps not so great with an inclement weather both men have ambitions to go as far as they can in the sport and it's heating up right on top of the logo at centre ring both men looking to score to the body hard fought contest this one and still very much in the balance both men missing with lead backhands 
Amira comes forward, scores with a southpaw left as Nadim finds himself on the ropes. And in a contest like this, Ron, it's all about concentrating and producing a little bit of quality. Eye-catching stuff for the judge to be impressed by. A good shot that makes the opponent's head go back. There's a lot of it scrap here on the inside, so you just need to concentrate both boxers and just produce something a little bit special. Who can summon up that quality as we approach the final minute? The left hand from Omira, just glancing the jaw of Nadim as again he found himself with his back on the ropes. Right hand is a nice shot from Nadim, but then there's a left at the end of the exchange from Omira. He scores with a southpaw left once again. Nadim perhaps feeling the pace, taking up residence on the ropes. He fights his way off there, gets back to the space of the ring and lands with a two-shot salvo with Omira on the ropes. Terrific success enjoyed by both boxers during the course of that exchange. Yeah, that was superb, wasn't it? Because at one point you've seen Omira on the front foot dictating things. And I think Nadim, he just sensed it. He knew he was in the wrong position. He knew he had to get round and he did so. Cracking bout. Closing seconds of what has been a really hard fought affair. And the 10 second clapper brings a burst of activity from Omir and Nadim bobbing and weaving on the ropes before responding with a fusel out of his own and a final southpaw left just before the bell lands for Omir. He raises both arms immediately. He think, thinks he has done enough and we are going to the scorecards at the conclusion of what was a very tight final in the 56 kilogram bantamweight division. It was close indeed and that last round was a superb round of boxing. It went this way then that it's right towards the end Amir Mira just produces a bit of quality that we spoke about. That may just be enough. This is when Nadim sensed he was in the wrong position and turned a negative position into a positive. Close bout indeed. Your winner, national champion at 56 kilograms by a split decision in the red corner. And it's Nadim. Ibrahim Nadim is the champion at 56 kilogram bantamweight a split decision winner over john o'meara from the dale youth boxing club